Welcome back everybody, it's Jeff again with J&K Stay in Vegas with another episode of Walk with Jeff. Today we are in between the Cosmo and Bellagio. Just got off that little guy, the Aria Express. We're gonna go down towards Bellagio because Bellagio has a new summer display. I wanna check that out as well as seeing where uh, where else our walk will take us today. Again, these videos are all in 4K, and this one is in HDR, so if you've got a TV compatible with that, definitely make sure that setting is on that comes on on YouTube, because it'll definitely make a difference. So, without further ado, let's restart our timer. And here we go. Current date of recording is May 30th and is 93 degrees. We're expected to hit the triple digits over the next few days. So summer is definitely upon us here in Las Vegas. That's the top of the parking structure of Bellagio. When you come out of the uh, monorail, Aria Express. And off in the distance over there is the Palms. But we're going to take this escalator down, Bellagio and Vidara. Go down here. You know what I think I'm going to do? It's been a minute since I've done it. I think I'm going to take that walkway in between Vidara and the Cosmo. And Bellagio. We'll see... Uh, We'll see where we can go from there, and then we'll make our way to Bellagio. Again, these are 30 minute walks. Get your exercise on, or just uh, kick back on the couch with a drink and a snack. And let me do the walking for you. So Bellagio is that way, and Vidar is this way. So let's go to the Vidara way first. I want to check out this walkway here first for you. This opened about a year and a half ago, I want to say. Let's see how cool this looks here. It's really a, a really, really nice walkway that gets you from Vidara to Bellagio. So if you're on oh, the uh, Aria side or the Vidara side, definitely make sure that you check this out. Keeps you out of the, uh, the elements. And you can see right there, Aria and Vidara, you can go down this way. We're gonna turn to our left so you can see where the Cosmo goes. There's our directional signage there. So all these hotels, at least in this part, are really close together and you can stay out of the elements like it is right now for the uh, summertime. So that makes it a very, very good option to get between these hotels. So I'll show you where this leads out and then we'll head back towards Bellagio. just to give you an idea of where this lets out at. You might recognize a familiar place over here. Easy peasy, Wicked Spoon right there. Let me know in the comments below if you've been here to Wicked Spoon. 
But yeah, that's where this lets out at. So let's head back. Wicked Spoon. These uh, interesting artwork here. Modern day holding an iPhone. So we're back at the fork in the road again. That's where you go for Aria and Vidara. But we are not going that way. We're going to flip around and go to Bellagio. Now, when you come into this side of the Bellagio, there's still quite a few twists and turns. So you'll definitely want to pay attention to the directional signage. In fact, there's an escalator that we have to take down first. Welcome to Bellagio. If you have any disabilities or whatnot, you can take the Bellagio elevator right there to the right, so you don't have to do the uh, escalator. So basically at the end of the hallway, the uh, spa tower elevators are down here. If you watched our Where's My Coffee, Where's My Room, you'll kind of know the layout of the land already. But this from here, it's actually a pretty good walk. You can get to the convention center and that'll take you all the way around, all the way back to the casino. So if you want to get your uh, steps in, that's a real good way. So here's where the uh, spa elevators are, right here quite a ways from the uh, front desk. So there's a cool spot over here. I've sometimes uh, sat here while I set up a live stream. Definitely catch those every Saturday night on our channel. But it's a uh, Really cool place just to kind of get away. It's pretty quiet. There's music playing, but just uh, take a load off your feet for a while. And circling around here, you got Harvest here. It's our steakhouse.
Here's our big uh, chocolate fountain over here. And now we're coming up to the new installation here at the Bellagio, their summer edition. A little froggy over here. <laughs> All these beautiful flowers. Butterflies. Let's get a good look at this ship over here. Feels nice and cool in here. And there's the uh, Bellagio front desk and registration. So that is the uh, conservatory is really, really close. And it will take you a while to get through. There are a lot of people taking selfies, pictures.
very difficult to get through people. <laughs> And along the way, you'll have all of these uh, info boards. They'll tell you what you're looking at. There's the, uh, taken the beauty of the annual aster, known as a beautiful crown. So just follow these, they'll kind of give you a guided tour. Tell you what everything is. Okay. If I did every one of them, it would be a, an hour long walk with Jeff. When there's a little bridge here, a lot of people are taking selfies here because this is usually the main display here. Look at how pretty that is. We usually make at least one live stream through uh, every display. So it's a good way to interact with me. Definitely check out our Saturday live stream. Let's go over here and see if there's anything hidden back here. Sometimes there is. Not right now, but the air feels really good. It's coming in through this vent very nicely. So that's where we came from over there. I'll show you right outside of the Bellagio. How uh, this end of the month of May is doing for business and amount of people here. This is a Thursday, the week after Memorial Day weekend, but as you can see, it's still really busy. And they always continue the themes of the conservatory behind the front desk. And over here at Concierge. Got a new Rolex boutique opening late 2024 in this area. Let me know if you have a Rolex or if you're buying a Rolex in the near future. That's a little out of the J and K price range. I got me at the wall. They are beautiful watches. Probably one of the most picturesque spots. How many front registration places do you see people taking selfies? So it makes a Bellagio unique. Look how beautiful it is. There's quite a few people in line. It is current time 110, so people are getting maybe early check in. Let's go see what's going on outside. Automatic doors do not push. They will not go any faster. There we are. Look at that shot. Gorgeous. Let's go around this side, get a little view of the uh, fountains. I'm not going to stick outside too long. It's uh, getting pretty warm out here. A lot of people will ask me on the live streams and say, Jeff, how do you deal with the heat? Well, it's not easy. But I think once you get in about a few weeks into those triple digits, you kind of get used to it, actually. And the cliche is actually true. It is a dry heat. It makes a hell of a difference. Can I say hell of a? Maybe I should say heck of a. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so this walkway 
uh, I'd recommend making a left or we've done a, Christina and I have done quite a few spots, filming spots over here. It's another excellent place to get some selfies, some pictures, beautiful garden over there. In case you, did, in case you missed one of those videos, I'll, uh, I'll show you what that area looks like. There it is, Bellagio Lake. Runs every half hour in the daytime and then at night is every 15 minutes. The Eiffel Tower. Planet Hollywood, let me know if you've watched that staycation or the Paris one. We did that new Versailles Tower, which used to be part of the Valley's Tower. Now it's strictly uh, Paris and squeeze in right over there. They're gonna build a new walkway to connect the two. So let me know in the comments below if you've watched either of those videos. If you haven't, definitely do that, even if you're not gonna be staying at them. Some great information in there you don't wanna miss out on. Let me show you the middle part here. You gotta love the Bellagio with all their flowers. This is actually AstroTurf, so it's not grass, but it still looks very pretty. The horticulturists here at Bellagio do a really good job. See if we can uh, sneak across here. Gotta watch out for taxi cabs. They'll run you over. Main Valley drop off is over here in the left lanes. And there are their prices. Weekdays, $35. Friday and Saturday, forty dollars. Let's get a good look at the Bellagio from this side as well. Very, very beautiful. Very nice. So you can do either walkway and go over here to the left and circle around or go straight ahead, get a nice selfie in front of this fountain, or head off to your right. We're gonna head off to our right, like where's my coffee, where's my room? Again, if you guys are liking the Walk With Jeff series, please make sure and comment below. It really helps out the video. Just leaving a comment saying, hey, thanks Jeff, love the series, or a question, what have you. Just, uh, do that, it tells YouTube that you're interested in the video. All the flowers continue up here. Too bad you can't do a little maze over here. It's like one of those hedge mazes. Looks, uh, looks like something would be like that. Who remembers The Shining? <laughs> Who saw The Shining? <laughs> great movie, scary, but great. Look at that beautiful fountain there. Good way to cool off. But don't jump in the fountain, because you'll get in trouble. Wait till they're getting done taking that picture. Paris balloon over there. You can actually see the sphere right through the flamingo. Looking all sphery today. All right, let's turn around. Head down this way. I don't know. And if you do like taking pictures, 
Um, selfie stick is actually a good thing, but just be aware that sometimes some places don't allow them, but it makes for a little better picture. Can uh, get your arm out further, <laughs> so your your noggin isn't so cl close to the lens. Definitely know about that. Let's get cooled off again. And um, make sure that we look both ways, even though it's only one way coming in here. Because sometimes people aren't paying attention when they drive in through here. Especially for the uh, taxi cabs that come swinging from this bottom underground part here. Look at this. Love these guys. Inside sure feels really good. The whole Bellagio Casino down through there. Somebody's got a ton of balloons over here. And if you do park here, we saw in the beginning of the video, the parking garage, that's just right over here. We'll head back. This is also a great place to take a picture. During the Christmas time, they, they usually have a really cool display right in this section. They can get a nice selfie in here. But nothing too much on this summer display. Let's get one last look at it from this side. A lot of people making the walk over here from Aria. What is this? <laughs> <They've>, <laughs> that's pretty funny. City, right over here, where the chalk fountain is. Hours of operation, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. You get your walk on and you can uh, definitely get your people watch on too. Definitely some interesting looking people, all walks of life. That's what's great about Vegas. You get people coming here from all over the world. It's nice to see some of their wonderment. Um. Yeah, I didn't think those open. Saw somebody come in out of them. Beautiful chandelier. Yeah, right. 
This hotel, like a lot of hotels, has a lot of conventions. So when, when you look online and you say, why is it so busy this random weekend? Well, it might be a huge convention in town. And that's the reason. And with that, everybody, that's our 30 minutes. That went quick, huh? If you enjoyed this video, everybody, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to J&K Stay in Vegas. Oh, I see that. And like I said, leave a comment below if you've been here, if you liked seeing the conservatory for 2024. And let's make the key word today trees for all of our lovely people that have made it to the end of the video. Put trees in the comments with your comment, and that'll let us know that you watched the very end. All right, everybody, until next time. Stay safe and stay silly. Bye bye, everybody.